And in Serbia, radioactive toxins near Belgrade are posing a potential health hazard. The International Atomic Energy Agency is trying to help clean up the mess, but as UNTV explains, it could take years. Inside this shed in Serbia is a mishmash of dangerous radioactive materials. An IAEA team from the United Nations nuclear watchdog is there to inspect the two corroding hangars. They're filled with radioactive wastes from the former Yugoslavia. Radiation is contaminating the immediate environment. But the biggest challenge is nobody knows precisely what's in there. In general terms, what kinds of waste is there? Because we have records over the last 50 years or so of what they put in there. But quite clearly, as you walk to the outside of the building and take measurements and, and even take pictures inside, it is really a mixture of many, many things. Uh, my experience tells me from my own past that when you see situations like that, you have surprises. There'll be things there that they really won't know that they have. The site is a half hour's drive from downtown Belgrade at the Vincia Institute for Nuclear Science. Security is a key concern. The shed is 40 years old. Its door recently blew off during a heavy windstorm. From a security risk perspective, clearly, the material can be used by virtually anyone having access to the building for whatever purpose they wish. If they want to use it just for contaminating, you know, themselves and, and radi raising a, a, an issue or, or you can putting it together with some sort of an explosive device which could spread over an area and contaminate an area, that's possible. And so therefore, you know, we, we need to reduce that potential and that risk. The IAEA is working with Serbian authorities to clean it up. The first step is to determine exactly what is inside, then to repackage the waste safely for secure storage in two new purpose-built hangars. At the end of this process that will take some years, this hangar will probably disappear, so it will be completely repacked and stored in new hangar. For UNTV, this is Kirsty Hansen for CNN World.